So, of course, we have one of the best market uh, for quite some time now. The Dow actually went up by 800 points. S&P and NASDAQ up a little bit over 3% as well. So, pretty good overall, but let's not forget that there's still some headwinds in the market. Okay, so first of all, we have to talk about the real estate prices. Next, we have to talk about Federal Reserve. And next up, we will talk about recession-esque fears again. So first up, let's talk about uh, let's talk about real estate. Okay, the first up is that uh, in the month of May, uh, yeah, month of May, new home prices actually went up, and people are thinking that oh, okay, the prices of our homes are still continuously going up, and there is a chance that we are not really getting into recession. It's just a form of a inflationary fear sort of thing where it's just climbing up slowly. Okay. Again, like I said before, I actually talked on my Instagram about this before. If you're not following me on Instagram, right here, at Omar Kausa. And of course, in that Instagram post, I basically explained the reason why real estate prices or real estate rent is going up in price is because those areas that are actually going up in price are such as your Miami, your Nevada, your Tennessee. Those areas have 0% income tax. Okay, Those are the zero income tax bracket um, states. And a lot of people are moving over there because, you know, if you're able to work from home, you are most likely going to be moving all the way over to those states, get a house there, rent a house there. You just work there and then you don't have to get taxed on the money that you earn. Okay, people who work from home or people who are high income earners, those are havens. Okay, those are havens where you can actually go to. And that's why during the whole entire inflationary era or the whole um, pandemic era where people don't really have to go to the office, they're going to go to those states and those houses in those states are definitely going to be going up in price. So what's the actual concern here? Okay, The actual concern is that when work from home doesn't become a norm, when the employees do not have the power anymore, where all the power goes back to the employer and they're just going to tell you, I don't care, you're going to come back to the office four out of the five days, we allow you one day for uh, one one extra day for you to do your work from home, whatever it is. But we expect you to be in the office four out of the five days. When that actually happens, okay, people are not going to move to Miami anymore. People are not going to stay in Nevada or uh, Tennessee anymore. They're all going to come back to wherever they're working, be it New York, or California, or wherever it is, they're going to slowly move back into all the other different states for them to continue their work, okay? And when that actually happens, house prices is going to go down and rent prices is going to go down because the demand as it is, is already going to get kept off, okay? It's going to get um, kept off completely. People are going to worry about the fact that, you know, oh, home prices in Miami is going to go down, okay? Rent prices in Nevada is going to go down, especially Las Vegas, all these places. They are actually very, very well known for places for even for YouTubers or for people who are high income earners who usually go there because they are able to actually work from home and they don't have to get a huge income getting snatched away from them. OK, so, of course, I'm guessing that home prices and rent prices are going to be affected there. And when those areas get affected by the home prices and rent prices is going to slowly contribute to the recession ball that is actually slowly snowballing down the hill. Secondly, let's talk about the facts. Okay, so whatever the Federal Reserve has said, of course, if you read all the articles uh, right now on the internet right now uh, about why the market is having a booming market, a lot of them will most likely say that, oh, okay, yeah, people have uh, kind of cooled off from the different Federal Reserve uh, statements and such that, oh, okay, you know, we're, we're good. Uh, we're, not, uh, we're not that hot uh, with the um, money, monetary policy tightening at the moment, okay? There's a chance that we might even go back down to a 50 basis point increment for the next month, okay? I call BS on that. I don't think that's going to happen. I think that we are still going to get a 75 basis increment. So I think that this might just be a dead cap bounce. Of course, on a Friday, for you to actually end a Friday on a very, very good note, it's a very, very good thing for the market because it simply means that the market feels a lot more euphoric Okay, usually on Fridays, we usually see a lot of blood. Whenever there's some form of a rally, it usually happens on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. Normally not on a Monday or a Friday because those are the times where people are very, very fearful. People who just came back to the market, they do not want to do much in the market. People who are going to go away from the market, they don't want to do too much to the market. So, of course, that those are the days where you usually see a lot of blood. And for those days, such as uh, on Friday, which is yesterday, 
to see the Dow Jones up by three, uh, 800 points, okay, 800 points, people are thinking that, oh, okay, you know what, if that's the case, I think that uh, people are actually finally not so worried. I think that this is a very short-term bear rally. I think we're going to come back in. We're, you know, if you're interested, you can buy in on the dead. You know, we're going to come back up. There's going to be a huge bounce back. I honestly don't think so. I honestly don't think so because I explained all these different headwinds to you guys. Okay, nothing actually changed in this past three days either. Okay, the federal, the, well, the FOMC meeting, that didn't change anything. The two different testimony that Jerome Powell went to the Senate and the Congress, that didn't change anything. If anything, it actually made it worse. Okay, so I'm not sure why the sudden huge buying pressure in the market at the moment. Of course, I'm the I'm feeling that there is also a good possibility that it's actually from some form of a squeeze. So for people who are not um uh, you know for people who are not aware of what a squeeze actually is, okay, same thing as the GME AMC sort of a squeeze. Okay, it simply means that people have been shorting the market like crazy, and people are now starting to just buy back in to realize those gains. Okay, let's not forget that there are a lot of people who have been shorting the QQQ, which is the NASDAQ, and people have been shorting the SPY, okay, with various different uh, ticker symbols. People who have even be, been shorting ARC, okay, with S ARC, okay, there's a lot of different ways you can actually um, short the market, be it via shorts, puts, or swaps. All these various methods for you to actually short the market, a lot of people want to start to cash in on those shorts, okay, and I think that maybe there is a good chance that it kind of formed a buying pressure because when they're actually closing in on those shots, they actually have to turn bullish instead of bearish. And when they close it in, more people close it in because they worry that they actually miss the bottom and they kind of keep on going up and up and up. And it just come, somehow formed a buying pressure. Because the thing is that for how I actually look at the stocks market, I usually look at reasons why the stocks market go up. And right now, I cannot see anything that changed my own opinion on the macroeconomics side of things. The headwinds are still very, very evident. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a news article over here, uh, which is by Bloomberg saying that, you know, oh, the stocks roll back with best week in a month. Okay, that's great, that's cool. Okay, over here you can see that investors were also reassured by St. Louis Fed President James Bullard, which is AKA the most hawkish uh, Federal Reserve Board member, who said worries over a U.S. recession are overblown. And let's be honest, we all know what a recession means. A recession means that having two consecutive months of negative GDP e equates to a recession. And chances are we are going to go through that in this cycle. Okay, I've said it before, and I think that before the before July of 2023, we're definitely going to be seeing a recession, be it a small recession, a big recession, a pseudo recession, I don't care. I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing a recession because those are the times that we're going to see negative GDP. And of course, this negative GDP is going to come out from two different things. One is from supply chain issues, and second is from inflation. These two actually work hand in hand, and that's why I'm very, very worried. Okay. Like I said before, nothing is actually, nothing has actually changed. Okay. It's not as if the supply chain issues have been fixed, nor has it been that inflation is starting to go. To, to, inflation is going to in, inflect downwards uh, heavily in the next CPI or the next PCE. None of this information is actually being given out in the past two days or three days. I don't see why a buying pressure is coming in on a Friday. So, of course, if you intend to think that you, we might be getting into a bull cycle, go for it. Okay, I'm, Like I said, I don't have a crystal ball. I cannot, I cannot tell if on Monday we're going to go back down or on Monday we're just going to continue riding on this huge wave. I'm not sure. But right now, if I go through with the macroeconomics, I don't see anything that's working for us. I don't see anything. I All I see are headwinds. I don't see any tailwinds. I don't think that we are going to have a smooth ride upwards. All right. So anyway, if you're interested in buying the dip, go for it. But if you're not, I think it's better for you guys to just sit by the side and just see what's going to be happening. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the